everyone, it's Desiree, and I am very honored to be able to show you the June Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders. I was contacted by them, and they had asked if I would help promote their card kit, and of course I said yes. Spellbinders was one of the first die sets that I bought when I started my whole paper crafting journey, and I've loved every minute of it. So let's let's dig into this card kit. You won't believe what you get. You get 10 envelopes. You get 10 card bases that are already scored and folded. And they are four and a quarter by five and a half side folding. You get some double-sided, excuse me, you get double-sided tape, yes, and foam squares. And all of these embellishments, you will not believe how much you get in this kit. So you see, you have a bow, you get some flowers. Now you might be looking at that and say, really, for a card? Yes, absolutely. You get all of these ribbons. You get a red satin, you get a couple organzas, you get that black fuzzy string, <laughs> let's call it that. It's, and you get a lot of it. You get these die cuts here. So they have some florals, they have some banners, and what's it, feathers, you know, you'll see those. And what's even great is these can also be your sentiments. This kit does not have, at least the June, does not have a stamp set, but they do give you many opportunities to have sentiments. So you have some dimensional stickers there, and they have, some of them have words on them. They have these adorable, small clothespins that have some great decorations. And again, everything coordinates together. Okay, so from the papers to the die cuts to any of the embellishments. These embellishments here, um, they're not vellum, but they're clear. So you can see the image, but their background, it's, it's completely clear. So you can have some a really a lot of fun with those. I'm not speaking right again. As usual, would we expect anything else? And it looked like I had received another set of those. So you only receive one of everything that I'm showing. You got those cute buttons that have double-sided tape on the back. And then you have these as well that can also be used as sentiments on your cards. This kit is perfect also if you're a scrapbooker because you have all of these elements that you can play around with. You also get an awesome set of dies. So you got a banner, you got a triangle, you got some flowers and leaves and vines and those cute little clothespins down there. Pins down there. How cute. So these are the items that you actually got in the kit from embellishment size. side. Here are your papers. So they've got some really beautiful patterns on their paper. You got a gold metallic sheet. These are your solid colors. So you got a pink, a red, a green, a white, and a blue. And what's nice is they're textured. That's what I really liked about it. They're not, you know, I get it. Cardstock supposed to be flat, but this was nice that they were textured. So you can see I grabbed one of my card bases. I've cut out one of my hearts from the gold metallic cardstock. I also cut out the pink panel, which measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to be using the double sided tape to adhere the gold heart onto the blue and white die cut. Now, everything I'm, I am going to use only items from the kit, from the double sided tape to the foam squares to the elements inside. The only thing that I'm going to pull in are my fingers and a pair of scissors. I just want to show you that, you know, you may be on a budget. Maybe you don't have all of these fancy tools that we have. There are still kits out there that you can enjoy and create with. I'm using the tape to put on the back of my panel, and I'm going to set that down onto my card base. Once that's set, I'm going to grab the die cut with my sentiment that says celebrate. And I'm also going to use the tape to adhere that straight down. Before I put that in place, I'm going to cur curl up the edges 
if you've seen my previous videos, you know I always do that when I fishtail, or it's a fishtail. I always curl up those edges, gives it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to use the foam squares for the back of the heart, and I'm going to set that right above the floral uh, die cut that I used. And we're just going to make sure that's secured. Now, since I use the double tape behind the gold heart, I'm going to grab some of the white ribbon and I'm going to create a bow and I'll be able to push that right down onto that heart because the double sided tape's coming out of the lattice. So see, there's a method to my madness. And once I have that bow, I'm going to set that in place. I was surprised it really didn't take me too long to create that bow. I am not a good bow maker. And once that's put down, I'm going to then trim off the edges to the length that I want it. And that's our first card. I think it's really cute. These are nice quick cards when we need a card in a pinch. So for card number two, I'm going to use one of the dimensional stickers. I chose one of the sentiments that says beauty surrounds us. And I'm going to layer that on top of the solid pink. And then I'm going to layer that on top of the pink and checkered. Now they're going to be trimmed down um, so that they're not too big. But I kind of wanted that pink and white checkered to be like a shadow off of the solid pink and the sentiment. If that made sense. I'm not sure. So because I'm using scissors to trim, I can't, and they're small, I can't cut a straight line. So this takes me a little bit. So we do some editing on this. But I'm just going to cut this section down. I was section down. I wasn't quite sure at the time I cut that piece how big I wanted that to be for the sentiment. So again, I always show you the process. I'm actually creating these cards as I'm taping um, so that you can see, oh, she's going to go this way. And all of a sudden I go the opposite way. It's, it's something that I'm doing, but I want to show you that, yes, it is a process, but you can also change your mind and you can also take it apart and redo it if you have to. Just a side thought there. So the center panel here is measuring two inches by five and a half. I wanted it to go the entire length of the card. I'm going to trim that to make it even with the card base. And now I'm going to place with, play around with the placement of the sentiment and the doily that I chose. So I know I wanted that, the, the pink to be down in the bottom right hand corner. And I knew I wanted the doily to be on the left hand side. I wasn't quite sure how high. So I'm just putting a piece of double-sided tape onto the doily because now we're just going to set that down in place and then we're going to set in place the sentiment. So I really liked this dimensional sticker and I was going to put it down. I'm like, nah, hold on. So I just wanted to add just a little bit more dimension to the card and even some textures. So I'm using the white and the light blue organza ribbon and I'm just cutting small pieces and I'm folding them in half at an angle and I'm attaching them to the back of the sticker. So because it's sticky, they're going to stick. Now I do take a piece of the double-sided adhesive across all those ribbons to make sure that they do stay in place because they are kind of shifting around a little bit um, and they could probably easily be pulled. And I'm going to set that in place. So that's going to straddle between the pink and the doily. And then like a haircut, I'm going to trim up my ribbons. I just wanted them a little thinner, didn't want them that wide. So I'm just filling that up and then fluffing it just to, to let them move around just a little bit. And that's our second card. Our third card. So I'm using these three die cuts. There's those feathers and then a banner that says wild and free. I cut this piece of pattern paper to be two inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to set that on the left hand side of 
my card base. I really liked the print on this pattern paper. Um, it had a lot of detail when it came to those uh, flower bouquets or flower types that they were showing. And what's nice is it's, it's not too thick. It, it's a nice weight pattern paper. Just remember, it's, and it's single-sided, so you don't have to worry about what you're cutting into. So I took the Wild and Free banner, and I used some of the foam squares. I set that in place to straddle across the pattern paper and the card base. I'm going to use the tape to adhere the larger of the feathers straight down. And then I'm going to use a foam square on the end of the feather. so that that one's got some dimension. Now, what I realized is, is after I did that, it's kind of wobbling underneath that banner. So I'm going to take a small piece of this tape and actually like roll it up as if it was a glue dot and then use my scissors to put it up underneath the banner down onto the feather so that it will hold it in place. And that's card number three. So you can see how simple um, and quick that these can go. But what I'm also liking is, is the difference that you're getting with each card. This pattern paper, I fell in love with the lace. It's, it's, it reminded me of denim and lace. I don't know, maybe I'm aging myself. But for those of you that have seen my previous videos, you know I love to tear paper. And this is where I saw I could tear some paper. So I just wanted the lace part. Again, I thought I was going to go with the whole panel. And that was cut four by five and a quarter. I just wanted the lace. So after I tore the paper, I'm going to use the edge of my sister, my scissors. Please be very careful if you're doing this. Ask me how I know. And you can use the edge just to scrape along. And what it'll do is it'll um, tether it. It'll weather it. It'll rip into it um, and just distress it a lot. I'm going to use the tape to set this panel down on the left-hand side of my card base. I didn't want to use foam squares for this because one, you would really need a lot because of the outlying sections that were coming out. Now, what you could do is add foam squares just to that one edge. You wouldn't have to add it to the hole. I mean, your, your panel can be on an angle on your card base. I really struggled as to where I wanted to put this sentiment. And the sentiment says, let your heart be free because I just didn't want to cover up the lace. I, for some reason, I was very much drawn to that pattern paper. So I covered the back of the sentiment with some foam squares and I decided, okay, I'll have to let it go. Let's just put the sentiment here because the sentiment is gorgeous. It's on a beautiful die cut piece ready to go. That was card number four. So for card number five, there's the butterfly, and I'm going to use the banner, the flowers, and leaf dies. And I use the red and the green cardstock. So if you have a pen with a rounded tip to it, and it could be any type of pen, just as long as it's a rounded tip, I'm using the foam square packaging because it has that divot in it. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing the pen with the rounded side down into the flowers that I die cut. It's making a cup with the papers. Now you could have just used a circle as well, but I had the die. I grabbed those florals out of the kit and I'm just using a small piece of tape down in the base of those cups because I want to put those flowers inside those cups that I've just made the flowers because that's the green that I wanted to see. You really can't see the, the green leaves that's under the flower, 
So I just wanted to pull that out just a little bit. So it's almost like I've got a, a bed of leaves sitting under that flower. When in reality, it's not a leaf, but we'll be adding those. So once they're all set, I'm going to set the butterfly. That's kind of, even though it's going to look different, it's kind of the focal point. So down the center, I'm applying a piece of tape and I'm going to set the butterfly about three quarters up from the bottom in the center of the card base. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then once that's set, I'm going to use another of the dimensional stickers and this one says hello sunshine and I'm going to set that on top of the butterfly but a little bit low I want the image of the top wings and you can see the antenna so we'll know that's a butterfly I'm going to apply a couple pieces of tape to the banner and I really want to make sure that these are layered well and, and doubled because what I'm doing is I'm putting the flowers on top of this so I want to make sure that it's going to have a very strong bond and I'm just going to put those in the center of that banner and then fluff them we have to fluff and then once that's set I was going to use some double-sided tape but then I thought, as my fingers were flying there, let's use the foam squares. Let's raise this up. Not that it doesn't have enough dimension already, but with the dimensional sticker, I, I kind of wanted to bring it even just a little bit with the banner because it's going to be sitting on that. Once I've applied those to the back of the banner, we're going to get them onto our card base. And then we're gonna we have a for some reason really had an issue trying to get that centered finally got it centered now i'm going to use the small green leaves that i cut and i just cut a bunch of them i wasn't quite sure how many i was going to use and i'm using the tape just putting a small piece at the end you can see no liquid glue yet i'm using everything from the kit and very doable um because the tape is extremely strong um, and it's great for these applications. So we're just going to set that one there. And I think I just add one more to this side because I needed some green coming off the sides there. And there I am. Thumbs up. And that is our fifth card. I think the different embellishments and ribbons that this kit offers will allow you to make cards that are what I consider not typical. So these are different. Um, they're unique. And no matter who has this kit, they'll continue to be unique. So that's what I really liked about this. All the links for Spellbinders will be down below in the video description, of course. I hope you check them out. There's not just this kit, so take the time to roam. I think you'll be really surprised at what they offer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I really do enjoy reading them, and again, ask any question. If I forget to say where I got something or what I was using, let me know that as well. And stay tuned for more in the month of June. I'm not sure, but I think Spellbinders may be making a comeback. So stay tuned, but always remember, be creative.